Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is April the 21st, 2018, and I'm here with one of my hydrangea bushes. I'm going to zoom in here for you. And I'm here. It has new growth coming back on it. You can't see it. I'm sorry about that. Um, it doesn't look like too much right now. This is one of the David Ramsey ones. Um, it was planted last year, and the flowers on it were sort of like a uh, purplish pink and uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is okay you get your hydrangea bush you plant it and your flowers start changing colors or it's one color one year and it flowers the next year and it's a completely different color well your soil pH has a lot to do with your hydrangeas and they're one that changes with the soil pH if you have an acidy soil your flowers are going to be blue. If it's kind of in the middle, they're going to be like a purplish color. And if you really have alkaline soil, they're going to be pink. So if you have um, a blue hydrangea and you plant it in alkaline soil, it is going to actually turn pink. Um, and then if you have like a pink hydrangea and you plant it in acidy soil, it's going to turn blue. So it's kind of really interesting how they change like that. Uh, one way that you can test your soil is with a soil uh, pH tester. I do have one. Um, somebody else used it and I'm not sure where they put it. So I can't actually show you how to use one. But that's the best way to test your soil pH. Uh, these over here, when I tested them before, the soil was tested kind of acidy. So, um, I put some stuff around them. You can use like a lime or, um, I use some wood ashes to get the soil sweeter, more alkaline so that they stay the pink color. And, um, if you, if they turn pink on you and you want them to turn back to blue, you want to use aluminum sulfate. But I definitely recommend that you test the soil first with a pH soil tester. Uh, sometimes the pH soil testers can stick, so you'll want to like rub the probe off with, um, I believe it's, it, they, they send something along with it to clean off the probe tip. And um, you want to kind of test around to get a more accurate reading, and uh, that will, you know, keep your hydrangeas the color that you want them. Uh, now the white ones, um, they're not affected by the soil pH. There's no way that I know of to change a white one to a different color. And I do have a white one. Um, I'm trying to nurse it back. It wasn't in too good of soil and we transplanted it. So I'm working with that one. And there are some different varieties. There's one that's a Pinkachu. Uh, it turns, it's white and then it turns pink as time goes on. That's a really pretty one. I actually have that one. And so this one right here is uh, my Pinkachu one, and it's completely different. Um, I'm pretty sure the stems on here made it through the winter. It is, uh, it looks like it is budding out some, which is a good thing. Um, I will put the uh, pH soil requirements for the pink and the blue hydrangea bushes down in the description. And um, I will also put a link for one of those rapid test meters down there as well. Um, another thing that you can feed your hydrangea bushes, um, the if you want them to turn blue, is uh, holly chown. And that's a really good food. I'll have a link down in the description for that one too. My dad actually um, had us put that on my mom's hydrangea bushes. And they were such a beautiful vibrant blue when they bloomed um, and they're the big oak leaf hydrangeas so they bloom on the previous year's growth so in the spring you definitely do not want to prune um, your oak leaf hydrangeas now if you have like a damaged or diseased branch then you'll definitely want to prune those out so um, it doesn't go any further but uh, other than that I wouldn't recommend that you prune your oak leaf hydrangeas in the spring because you'll be taking off your blooms, which you don't want to do that. 
if you have like the big oak leaf hydrangeas and you get a lot of cold they bloom on like last year's growth so a lot of times the winters will be like too harsh for them or something and um, it will kill the buds or it will kill like last year's growth so they won't bloom that year now there are some different varieties that you can get uh, that are better suited for cooler areas you'll just have to check the tags and do a little research on it but I uh, just wanted to show you these I don't know if you can see there you can see there no this one here is coming back and there's some that bloom on new and old growth. So I think this is one of those. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you see something that you like, just make sure you do research on it to figure out if it'll be okay for your area. So I just wanted to talk to you about that today. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button. I'll tell you when I put a new video on. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.